there's a lot of potential in Dundas BI for custom interactivity in the dashboards and reports that you create. This is a great way to give your users a little bit more control rather than just giving them flat and unresponsive dashboards. So here we are. I'm going to teach you three cool interactive features that you can add to your dashboards because you know the saying, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. But teach a man to fish and you've saved yourself a fish, haven't you? I'm Jeff and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. All right, let's start with a simple example. It's common to build a dashboard that someone else will look at and go, I don't understand what's happening here. I don't understand what you're visualizing or why. To rectify this problem, one thing that you can do is add a help system to your dashboards using layers. To do something like this, let's start by adding a new layer to your dashboard by dragging rectangles on top of content to darken it out. You want to use the properties to change the color and set the opacity to semi-transparent so that you can still kind of see behind it. From here, we can position text and labels so users can understand what's happening in your visualization. Now, someone looking at this will really understand what they're seeing and not jump to false conclusions. All you need to do now is create a button that will launch the help system that we've created. Make sure you put this button on the base layer and not our text layer because you don't want it to be hidden by default. Now, click on the button. You can go to Properties, and under Click, we can set a Change Layer Interaction. The only thing you need to do here is to give the ability for the user to hide the layer. And from this point, you probably also want to do the opposite, maybe on click of the various rectangles so that they can undo this change. Let's go into View Mode, and now you can see it works perfectly. By the way, this is also a good way to provide additional information for a given visualization, like underlying data. If you have something like a gauge, and all these numbers that went into calculating it, filter values, etc., are being aggregated up to a single data point, the user might want to know the, the raw data behind it. So maybe you show a table instead of a description text. And using this layer concept, you can actually show them raw information, which can be very useful. Another popular form of interactivity is a pop-up, which allows you to have a visual and then pop up another visual as the user interacts with your content. Here's a chart where I'm graphing the number of Canadian geese attacks by month in Toronto. I've created another mini dashboard which provides contextual information, and all I need to do is hook it up. So first, by clicking on the chart, I can go to Setup Interactions, click Hover Over, and tell the dashboard what I want to show. Here you tell the system the size of your content and what you want to show, and that's all that's required. You can also pass information in by clicking Setup Parameters, so that way it knows what your mouse is interacting with, and that information can be passed to the destination dashboard. If you choose to do this, make sure that the parameter already exists on the other dashboard first. So in my case, we're going to pass the date of the line chart into our pop-up. So we go into here, add a simple mapping, and then set the source and target. So you can see other parameters on your target dashboard, and you're just hooking them up together. And that's it. As you can see, placing our mouse over specific data points will bring up our pop-up with additional information. Could be anything. There's another really neat feature under interactivity called Bound Visual, which will give you a ton of power, and from my experience, is something that very few people even know exists. This actually adds functionality that would typically be coded on a dashboard. So once people understand what it is, it's actually quite popular. Here's a dashboard where we have two layers giving the user the potential of two different visualizations, or more. Now, using a radio button or a drop-down would be the same process for either. We can give the user control over what they want to see, all without code. So to start, add these controls to the dashboard, go to Items, and we can decide what we want to add to it that they'd see. Once we set this up, you can go to Selection Changed, and click on the hamburger menu, where you'll see Change Layer option. Now you can see that there's an option at the bottom for Bound Visual. And let's see what's available. You've got a few options here. And in doing this, you're giving control over when the layers change, if the action will fire or not. If a Bound Visual is set to Entire Control, it'll run on any interaction with the target control. 
This isn't very relevant for something like a dropdown, but if you had a chart that has a lot of white space around it, you might not want to fire an interaction unless they actually interact with the series. Any bound visual would mean any series on that chart, or in our case, any option within the dropdown. Now you can also see that there are options that we've added to the dropdown that I can select. So choosing one of these and then telling it to hide one layer and show another, we can have this process kick off. Now we would do this one more time and chain an additional change layer interaction into this control with the opposite setup. Now, as the user chooses their options from this dropdown, it knows which one you chose and it's gonna fire the correct hide and show layer interaction, giving the user the content that they wanna see. Now I wanted to show you one more idea along the same lines of letting the user control content. Did you know that the menu control has the same concept of bound visual? for each of the different options available that you can select, this would work identical to the dropdown or the radio button that I showed you. Another option of the menu is that it can control content that's not on the dashboard by manipulating a container control. I've set this menu up so that we can automatically show the content of a given folder, and as the user clicks on any of these, a sub canvas view container, which is on the dashboard, will change the content being displayed. This allows the user to do this with a single click and makes the dashboard a lot less intimidating if I have a lot of content I want to show, since you can kind of bury some of it at the start. Now, if the menu control isn't something that you're familiar with, I certainly recommend checking out a previous video that we did called Enhance Your BI User Experience Using the Menu Navigation, as this will give you a better idea of how the menu works in general and its capabilities. I really hope that some of you can use these ideas as it really will bring your dashboards to the next level. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.